Good evening everyone. Welcome to Times of India. Let's start with some international news. Prime Minister of United Kingdom Boris Johnson urges public not to carry it away with COVID-19 vaccine. Internationally, corona cases cross 64.5 million mark. Now, some national news. MDH Spices owner Dharampal Gulati, also known as Mahashay Ji, died today, that is 3rd December 2020, at the age of 98. In India, total cases of coronavirus cross 9.53 million mark. Now, some local news. 9 dead and 18 injured as gas pipeline explodes at Bila Steel Plant. Now some MGM news. Yesterday, that is 2nd December 2020, the 10th episode of Enriched Life with Physical Education and Sports was released in our channel and which was presented by our very own Kundan Kalsa Sir. So that's all for today. Take care of yourself and your families and stay tuned to our channel for more interesting news updates. Thank you. Jai Hind. One and all, I am Hari Krishnan. I am from class 7G studying at MGM Junior Secondary School, Sector 6, Pillai. Today, I am saying some lines about pollution for Pollution Day. Pollution is the process of making land, water, and air dirty by doing a lot of damage to the earth. Or we can say that pollution, pollution is the introduction of impure and harmful substances into the environment. These harmful and impure substances are known as pollutants. These pollutants can be natural or can be man-made, like human wastes, ashes, waste, trashes, or waste that's come from out from the factories. Other pollution is plastic pollution, radioactive pollution, and noise pollution. Now, pollution always puts a negative effect on animals and humans. The polluted air and water cause many diseases in humans and animals. Heavy metal like arsenic and mercury are responsible for the contamination of groundwater. So how can we stop this? We can stop pollution by reuse, reduce and recycle. We should, when we, we should avoid the use of plastic bags and when we are in the traffic lights we should of our vehicles when the color is in red and we should not do it today itself we should not do anything which harms our nature to protect our earth thank you have a nice day jai hind jai bharat each one and all i am hari krishnan i am from class 7g studying at mgm junior secondary school sector 6 pillai today i am saying some lines about pollution for pollution day Pollution is the process of making land, water and air dirty by doing a lot of damage to the earth. Or we can say that pollution, pollution is the introduction of impure and harmful substances into the environment. These harmful and impure substances are known as pollutants. These pollutants can be natural or can be man-made like human wastes, ashes, waste, trashes, or waste that's come from out from the factories. Other pollution is plastic pollution, radioactive pollution, and noise pollution. Now, pollution always puts a negative effect on animals and humans. The polluted air and water cause many diseases in humans and animals. Heavy metal like arsenic and mercury are responsible for the contamination of groundwater. So, how can we stop this? We can stop pollution by reuse, reduce and recycle. We should, when we, we should avoid the use of plastic bags. And when we are in the traffic lights, we should off our vehicles when the color is in red. And we should not do it today itself. We should not do anything which harms our nature to protect our earth. Thank you. Have a nice day. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.
pleasant good evening to one and all who is watching the Z portal. Myself, I am Ansi Gigi. I teach physics in classes 9 and 10. And today on behalf of the ATL, I am here with a multimeter. I have a PowerPoint presentation and also some of the demonstration of the uses of a multimeter. And I take this opportunity to thank our principal, Professor Dr. B. D. Taragan and Mr. Shaji Chako, who is the convener of the ATL committee. This is a digital multimeter and these two red and black which you see, these are the two probes used. The black one is connected to COM and the red is connected to V O milliampere. And there are various functions over here which can be selected using the selector knob. Now first of all we are going to find the continuity in a circuit. Now the importance of this is uh, if you are using this we can find whether the circuit is complete or not. So first of all the selector knob is kept till here, here and the two ends of the probes they are touched and when it is touched a beep sound you can hear. The beep sound shows that there is no discontinuity in a circuit. Now we are coming to the next use of a multimeter. Uh, you have two batteries you can see here. One is a 9 volt battery and the other one is 1.5 volt. And we are going to find the voltage of these two batteries. Now first of all the knob uh, you are selecting the particular part of the multimeter and this stands for the DC voltage and you have uh, kept the knob at 20 volt okay you have to select the range accordingly now the upper one you are not using and the lower one also you are not using also we have kept at 20 volt now you are touching the positive end with the red one and the negative with the black one and you can see the multimeter that is showing some reading okay that is around 1.63 volt now this battery it's a 9 volt battery now the positive end that's the red one I'm connecting to the positive and the black to the negative and it shows some reading that is 4.87 volt okay that shows the battery has discharged now the next use of the multimeter is to find the resistance of a resistor and here you, you can see a resistor and we are going to find the resistance of this resistor. Now first, uh, first of all you have to select the correct position of the knob and I have kept it here you can see it's O that's the unit of resistance and I have kept the knob at 2000 ohm. Now if I touch the two probes to the ends of the resistor you can see no reading is shown over uh, in the meter. That means the range which I have selected is not correct. So I'll just change it. I put it at 20 kilo ohm and still uh, you can see there is no reading. So again I'm going to change it. I've kept it at 200 kilo ohm. Now when I touch it you can see the reading. That is the resistance of the resistor. So the main thing is you have to select the correct range. Now the last use of uh, multimeter which I am going to tell is uh, to find the current across this particular battery or the dry cell. So the first thing you have to do is you have to put this red probe uh, to 10 ampere that particular port and the selector knob you have kept at 10 ampere. And now you are touching the red probe to the positive end of the cell and the black probe to the negative end of the cell. And that is uh, showing, the meter is uh, showing some reading and that is the current which is, uh, which is flowing through this uh, dry cell. Now welcome back again to the very short PowerPoint presentation on multimeter. Now we know multimeter, it's an instrument which is designed to measure electric current, voltage and usually resistance typically over several ranges of value. You know the current unit it's ampere, voltage is volt and resistance is ohm. Now some of the common uses of multimeter which was already demonstrated they are measuring voltage AC 
as well as DC voltage. The continuity in a circuit, resistance of electrical components and measuring current. These are some of the common uses of multimeter. Now the multimeter it is also known as VOM or volt ohm multiammeter. Now it is combining several measurements in one unit and that's why it's known as a multimeter. Now there are basically two types of multimeter. The first is digital multimeter. Now the digital multimeter is showing the result as numbers on the screen. Okay, so in the figure you can see it's a digital multimeter. The values are displayed on the screen. Now the second one is the analog multimeter and it consists of a needle to indicate the measured value on the scale. So this is the second kind of multimeter. Now the probes for a multimeter, there are two probes, the black and the red. Now the black probe is connected to the multimeter's COM terminal and the red probe goes into the terminal which is labeled as volt ohms or V ohm. Now these are the some, some of the common DMM symbols which you see on a multimeter, AC voltage. DC voltage, hertz, positive, negative, ohms, diode, audible continuity, ground, capacitor, microfarad, micro, milli, mega, kilo and overload. These are some of the symbols you can find on a multimeter. Now some of the demonstration which you already saw was for continuity test and for continuity test the black probe is connected to COM terminal and the red one to VO milliampere and for the continuity test the two ends of the probe they are touched so when they are touched a beep sound you can hear of course the selector knob is selected uh, keeping it at a particular point and when the beep sound comes that shows the circuit is complete. So this test is used to check whether the circuit is complete or incomplete. And to measure the voltage of a battery, of course first you are selecting the range that is the volt and that is DC volt. And at a particular value if you are using the 9 volt battery you have to keep it, uh, keep the knob at 20 volt. So the range should be selected correctly and when the ends of uh, the probes when it is touched to the terminals of the battery the red one to the positive end and the black to the negative end of the battery uh, the screen shows some reading and that reading is the DC voltage of the particular battery or the cell. To measure resistance you are having a resistor and first you are selecting the knob for resistance that is O and then at keeping at different values uh, for the particular range uh, the resistance value you can get and this resistor it is not having a positive or a negative terminal so the red and black probe can be touched to any of the points of the uh, resistor and the screen displays some reading that will be the resistance of this resistor. Now the current can also be measured using this multimeter current that is uh, first the black one was at COM terminal and here also it's the same but the red one is shifted to 10 ampere and selecting the correct range the uh, current across the battery can be measured when the two ends of the probe is touched to the positive and negative ends of the battery. The reading which is displayed on the screen will tell the current across the uh, battery. Now multimeter is also used to measure AC voltage and to measure AC voltage 
So the steps you can see it on the screen. First select V uh, AC voltage you are finding AC voltage. So you have to keep the knob at AC voltage. First insert the black probe into the COM jack. Next insert the red probe into the V ohm jack. Connect the ends of the probe into the circuit. Black probe first and then the red. Now read the measurement on the display. So whatever the screen in the reading is shown that's the AC voltage. Now some of the multimeter safety tips can you can see over here. Choose the right meter. Check the meter before use. Wear your protective gear. Avoid electric shock. Understand the dangers. Know the CAT ratings. CAT ratings means the category ratings. Now the category it's uh, there are four category CAT 1 or the first category. It is for measurements which are performed on circuits which are not directly connected to the mains. And under category 2 it is for measurements which are performed on circuits which are directly connected to the low voltage installations. For example, measurement on household circuits. Now coming to category 3, it is for measurements performed in the building installations. Example, distribution boards, circuit breakers, etc. Now under category 4, it is for measurements which are performed at the source of the low voltage installation. Example, electricity meters. Thank you.